More recently, we have had the Nirbhaya rape, as it's called, which shocked everybody around. I mean, everywhere you had candlelight. Uh, I mean, it was a horrible crime. There is no question of it. It was terrible. It was a great thing that brought people, populations as a whole, onto the streets to protest about the kind of violence and the kind of culture that we have. But what I am saying is, that is, this is a culture we've already had. The only reason we noticed Nirbhaya was because she's educated and she's middle class. It is happening to tribal women all the time. It is happening to Dalit women all the time. They are gang raped, they are stripped, they are paraded, they are burnt, they are mutilated. Before uh, the Nirbhaya case happened, long ago, all women's groups were busy, you know, uh, trying to get the release of a, woman, a teacher, a school teacher called Soni Sori in Madhya Pradesh. Now, Soni Sori was a school teacher who was arrested because the police imagined that she had a connection with Maoists. The kind of things that were done to her, stones, iron rods, she's alive. Stones, iron rods pushed into her vagina, not just rape, I mean like the amount of physical abuse and pain that she suffered was impossible. How much we struggled to just say, okay, just put her in prison, don't do this. Nobody noticed. Have any of you heard the name of Sony Sori? No. Nirbhaya we've all heard of. It's a good thing if people hear of it because then at least opens your eyes to one aspect of the violence that is going on. But what I'm saying is that this violence is deeply embedded, deeply entrenched in our society in every class, in every class. We have had people who are doctors, specialists, psychiatrists, neurologists, police officers, directors of institutes coming to us because they have suffered immense violence. And because they simply don't know how to handle it and also because of the shame that it brings. And I think that one of the first lessons we need to learn as women is to be shameless. Shame is something that has been put on us by a patriarchal culture. We have to be shameless. If you are ashamed, then you are deemed guilty and you will be punished. Never feel shame. There is no reason to feel shame at all. Feel shame if you are corrupt. Feel shame if you are corrupt. But none of the corrupt feel any shame. Nobody who is corrupt feels any shame. Nobody who tortures feel any shame. But women feel shamed all the time. Your husband beats you, you are ashamed. Somebody abuses you, you are ashamed. Your lover runs away, you are ashamed. Your children turn against you, you are ashamed. You grow old, you are ashamed. Shame is something that haunts us all the time. And shame must be killed. I would say to you, my message to you this Women's Day is, kill shame. There should be no shame in your life. Go out happily and say, Be sharam